on Vinyl Community. Welcome to another video with the Record Spinner. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the White Stripes Elephant UHQR from Analog Productions. Finally arrived today, and I am so excited to dig my way in to what is a very special album to me, and an album that further expands Analog Productions' reach. I said it once on social media when I commented when this thing got announced. I think it is excellent that Analog Productions is branching more out into the rock realm. And granted, you know, they have given us great um, rock-based reissues, whether it's part of the UHQR series with Hendrix and Jethro Tull, or the 2LP 45 RPM uh, standard pressings that they do. For me personally, in my tastes, jazz and blues can only go as far, so it's great that they're tapping into this rock market, especially with the upcoming Atlantic Records Anniversary Series, but that's a whole other thing for another video, perhaps. But anyways, the, it is still in the box. This is what it got shipped in, and of course, I love how these special um, mailers come with these handles. I just absolutely adore it. And uh, let's dig and render our way in. This is absolutely going to be phenomenal, and I have a feeling, just judging based off of the couple uh, reviews that I've read on Discogs, this is definitely bound to be perhaps the best sounding pressing of this album. But it's going to be interesting, and I'll explain why in a little bit. All right, little roll of bubble wrap on top to protect it. All right, and here we go. So first off, before that, we have a couple of different inserts and such that they placed in, which is pretty cool. Mr. Bernie Brumman himself. Little ad for the Disc Doctor, so I'll probably store these inside the box. And wow, we here it is. Give you guys a close-up shot of the um, hype stickers there. And let's get this out of the shrink wrap and explore the contents. This looks absolutely sharp. Oh my gosh. Christmas come early. Two months early, I should say. Okay. So, here is the box itself. And I love the choice of the red uh, foil inlays on the box as well as the spine. And I just pulled out my Jethro Tull Aqualung UHQR just as a basis of comparison. For those that kind of have OCD, it might be a little triggering that, you know, it's all been gold and then you have this red version. But I think just given, you know, the white stripes color scheme of red, black, um, and white, um, it's definitely best suited. So it looks absolutely amazing. And then here is the back, <clears throat> which has the um, all the copyright information, since this was done um, in conjunction with Third Man Records. And then here is the leatherette spine, placed on top of wooden dowel. There, you can kind of see it there. Here, I'll even I'll lay it out like this, just so you guys can see. Looks absolutely tremendous. <clears throat> wow, we. So, looks absolutely sharp with the main red box and the black trim on the sides. Very nicely done. And inside here, we have the UHQR Technical Specifications Manual, which kind of explains some of the, um, the science that goes behind uh, doing these pressings in terms of the plating process and the um, the formulation of the vinyl that they use, which is clarity vinyl, which is vinyl without the addition of carbon black. So it is vinyl at its purest state, very fragile type material. They have to press these uh, manually. And um, the best thing about it is that there's little to no uh, noise floor. I, I can at least testify to that in my experience owning Aqualung as well as the um, Hendrix Are You Experienced UHQR. So, cool stuff here. And then here we have this little insert, which is, let's see. You can kind of see it there. They are certifying that this is limited to 10,000 copies pressed uh, in July 2023 at Quality Record Pressings in Salina, Kansas. I was in New Orleans with the youngest members of the VC as this was getting pressed. And then here we have the uh, the, the uh, patent documents for both UHQR and Clarity Vinyl. These are basically, this is included with all of the um, 
UH Quar releases, along with the uh, specifications manual. We'll put those there. And then, of course, here we have the fall 2022 catalog promoting the most latest releases on analog productions. Good stuff, whether it's your UHQRs, your uh, ultra tapes, or anything that will please your hi fi and your ears. So cool stuff. All right, and then inside here, let's see. Oh, I see what they did. So we have basically an insert, which was originally the design of the printed inner sleeves that came with the original of the uh, the Elephant album. So this insert, of course, has some imagery, as well as all the lyrics, as well as the credits on this side. So that's very nice, since there's no need to put these records in printed inners this time around. And next up, we have this lovely book, which is exclusive to this pressing. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So we have, let's take a look here. These are all photos taken at Toe Rag Studios, which was where the album was recorded, all analog studio in England. And we have various photos of Jack and Meg working on the record. There you can see the tape machines and the console. Very dated looking to today's standards, but just given the analog aesthetic of the white stripes, um, it just fits so well. And uh, these liner notes uh, were written by Ben Blackwell, who was a co-founder of Third Man, as well as an archivist for the White Stripes. So this is very, very nice to kind of sit and sift through as you listen to the album. I think some of these photos were featured in the Pictures from Elephant book, which was released as part of the, um, the Third Man vault. So some of these do look just a little familiar. And then here is the back, which kind of gives you some of the uh, specifications of the pressing itself. Photos by David James Swanson, remastered by Ryan K. Smith. And inside, ah, oh, I see. So this is different. So we have the records housed in an outer sleeve, and then we have the jacket itself. So let's focus on the jacket first. Let's take a look. So here. Here it is. And I even pulled out my other copy of Elephant as just a basis of comparison. So this is basically the standard vinyl pressing that we pretty much know. Um, and if you know, if you notice, there's some color variations, like um, Meg has a black dress and then uh, Jack is wearing his traditional um, red fringed uh, outfit. Um, there's this version here, which is the 20th anniversary pressing that recently came out this year where they are all in white. And then I believe the CD version has uh, Meg's dress white as well as Jack with a standard outfit so it all kind of changes around but jacket alone which is very cool and as you can see out of 10,000 numbered copies I have copy number 1326 gatefold jacket just like the original I don't want to open it too much because you can hear that um, that little crackle as I was opening it Nice matte finish, tip-on style jacket, absolutely gorgeous stuff. And now let's take a look at the vinyl. And I think this was just a nice touch to put, him, uh, put the records alone in this uh, outer sleeve just to avoid any possible seam splits. I can't remember if the others were like that. I think they were just all placed inside jackets. So it definitely, it's not like analog productions and qrp are just taking you know the standard and going with it they are further improving upon their product which at the end, end of the day makes for a happier clientele so of course you can already guess where it was pressed at just by the uh, logo on the sleeve mofi uh type um sleeves of course and here is the vinyl Clarity vinyl indeed, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now, interestingly enough, and this was what I found surprising when this first got announced, um, Elephant, upon its release back in 2003, as well as all subsequent reissues, has always been a double album cut at 33 RPM. And what's interesting is that while this is a 2 LP 45 RPM pressing, the running order 
is the exact same as the 33 edition. So you can already kind of guess that they kind of made the grooves a little bit wider on the 33 version, but um, it'll be interesting to see how it kind of holds up. And also, Ryan K. Smith has never tackled this album before. This is the first that he's doing it, so it'll be interesting. But just to kind of add some further points, um, in terms of comparing pressings, um, it's going to be a real challenge because every copy of Elephant pressed on vinyl has been all analog and has used the original tape. Whether it's the US V2 pressing, the UK XL press, um, and they reused those V2 uh, stampers for the 2013 10th anniversary version. And then for this 20th anniversary uh, version, Wes Garland did a fresh cut of it from the tape. And I believe that was an all tube system that he cut it on, so that'll be kind of interesting to compare it to this. And then here is the second LP. Very good stuff. And the Clarity Vinyl looks absolutely gorgeous and it looks absolutely flat. No complaints or issues here. Absolutely amazing, amazing stuff. So this is going to be such a fun listen. Um, like I've said, I've read plenty of good things in regards to what this is going to sound like. and. Um, I am just ready for a trip. And, uh, and and like I said, it's going to be interesting to see how it racks up against the 20th anniversary version. But like I said in the beginning of the video, I have a feeling that this is going to be the best sounding version of this album. And it's one of the most important albums in my upbringing as a music lover. Um, Jack White is the reason why I got into vinyl collecting. And um, this album is just a big part of my life. And it's great to own it in such a lavish package. So I've been babbling way too much. I'm going to put this on the turntable and have my mind blown. So there you guys go. That is my unboxing of the White Stripes Elephant UHQR by Analog Productions. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video, and most importantly, keep the record spinning.